Good morning. So what I know about um, persistence, retention, completion, and graduation. For persistence, um, I know it's the ability for students to continue um, progressing throughout college. So there's no like, um, I mean, of course, there's circumstances and different things that kind of hinder, um, that hinder the progress of students. But ultimately, um, that aspect is is for students to continue to progress through their programs to continue um, completing their courses as they need to, and doing their service learning, um, and any other um, course requirements that they might have. Um, for retention, um, it is super critical, not only for students, but also as an institution to um, retain students as much as we recruit them, uh, because they are a product of our institution. Um, and I just think about if we are creating global leaders or angels of change, um, competent leaders at that, um, and we don't retain them, I feel like um, that's kind of like failing students. Um, and especially um, when we think about um, individuals who come to universities and they um, leave uh, without notice, it's just kind of like, um, you know, do we as an institution or student staff, faculty, um, like are we recognizing the needs and the barriers like last minute, um, especially when it comes to retention? For completion and graduation, I think about how students, when they meet that point, they are literally changing the trajectory of their um, families um, and just kind of like opening the eyes of individuals within their families or within their close networks of, um, you know, like this is possible and um, if I can do it, you can do it too. So kind of like that motivate, kind of like the motivating um, and influencing others to also pursue in the a degree, um, more or less education. Um, what I am interested in knowing, however, is um, what is the aftermath that students experience if they don't finish, um, if they don't finish college, if they are not graduating. Of course, there's debt, but what are also like what are the feelings and perceptions of college that um, might linger or um, be left with those who are not um, being retained at our institutions? And then also like, how can we help? Um, regardless of our roles within the institution, I think, um, or now that we are aware of like how student affairs or just like how our different areas can be siloed, um, how can we have a hand in um, being more proactive and helping our students who come to our institution succeed and also meet graduation?